Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you a very cool uh, trick, cool tips you can use to expose your content running on a local host to the internet. So for example, you want to share some files to your friend. So without um, putting it into a chat app and send to them. And there are other reason you might want to expose your your static content or web content to the internet so for example you're working on a responsive web app and you want to test it on a real mobile device quickly and easily and also free so let's get started the first thing you need to do is to install uh, an HTTP server so make sure you have a node npm install on your machine so because we, we use node then you can um, make this work on any operating system that have node install so I'm going to install npm install HTTP server like that and after this I can run HTTP server to serve the static content um, on the current directory so here I'm on my desktop if I type this I will see the I will have a web server serving static content showing the the files on my desktop so you can see that after I hit enter I have a few options here this one uh, only available on the local machine this one is available in one of my uh, local area network and this one because I use both Wi-Fi and cable connection so I have these two URLs so let's try this open this on a browser and sure enough you see all the content on my desktop here and if I click here I can see the image so this is practically practically a web server serving static content so how do you do you uh, serve this uh, access this from the internet so that is why we need uh, a second uh, npm package that is to, that is tonal mode so this one is the thing that let you expose your your web server to the internet so the script is quite simple npm install uh, dash g so we install this globally so similarly to HTTP server I'm going to use uh, npm to install like this so it should be very quickly so my web server is running on 8080 and I am going to use tmo and ATAT. So this is the port of the application you're running on a local machine and Tonomo will create an URL and direct the traffic to your application running on this port. So after that you can see that you have two URLs one is HTTP the other one is HTTPS and you I copy this and open this on my browser sure enough this one is from the internet and I have HTTPS for free so how awesome is that I can click on the files to see the the content so the other use case is um, when you are working on a web app and you want to try it on other machine uh, on your mobile device for example so let me show you one of my uh, react web app so I'm going to start at npm run dev so you can see this is a, a typical Vite app running on port uh, 5173 so there's nothing special about this but this is running on localhost so I can use uh, Tonomo to expose this web app to the internet. So first, because I'm, I'm not logging into Tonomo, 
I can run only uh, one tunnel. So I need to stop this and uh, go to, I'm going to expose Timo. So the port is 5173. Like that. And similarly, you can see that we have two URLs. I'm going to use the HTTPS URL and uh, enter it on my browser. You see that the, the title is showing. And because it's going through the internet, then it may take some time. It's not something instantly like this. But you can see that the exact web app is available on the internet. So I can easily check this on my mobile device. My mobile device. So that's it. I think that is super awesome since you can quickly expose your content to the internet. So this is useful for like file transferring, small files, I guess, or you can quickly um, bring up your web app. So your friend can see, other people can see, or you can check it on your other devices. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.